Hello, my name is Sherilyn and I'm a music teacher from Malaysia. In this podcast, you will hear me share stories about my teaching career and other stuff that interests me such that I want to share with you. Stay tuned and listen to what's coming next in this episode. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Adventures of a Music Educator and I'm your host, Sherilyn. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about how I reached out to global educators to solve a Google Slides bug. And this bug happened early March. Okay, if, um, if you don't use Google Slides, you may not know much about this, but I use Google Slides a lot ever since... January for my virtual lessons especially so can you imagine how frustrating annoying irritating it is when something that you have been using so efficiently for a while now and suddenly you can't use it properly so what went wrong with Google Slides a couple of weeks back was the insert audio function suddenly went missing from my school's Google email. So this email that I use, I created it for the purpose of work. So technically, it's still a personal Gmail. It's just that I specifically allocate this email for work. I didn't want it to mess up with my personal stuff, my other you know, business stuff. Okay, that's the first tip as a music teacher or any teacher for that matter that you should know. If you're going to do something with uh, work, make sure you use a separate account. Don't mix things up. So what happened was, like I mentioned earlier, the insert audio function went missing. And I kind of panicked because I was creating things. I was, you know, trying out some kind of new lesson and suddenly I can't find it. So I went uh, checking and yeah, a couple of my emails didn't have that uh, insert audio function in Google Slides. And then I started asking around. I started asking my close friends, close teacher friends who are also using Google Slides and they had similar problems as well. But the one thing that we noticed was our personal email, our personal Gmail, still had that function on Google Slides, which was very strange. Very, very strange indeed. So I even started asking around in Facebook. I am in a lot of Facebook groups that are for music educators, and I'm aware that there are some uh, Facebook groups dedicated to Google Slides and also music e-learning. So... I asked all those sites, I posted all the same things and very few came back to me and that was on the 9th of March, okay? So I even started to reach out to Google on Twitter. Frankly speaking, I don't use Twitter a lot but this is the one occasion where I use Twitter the most because I knew for sure I wasn't the only one. I can't be the only one because it was a very strange, strange thing. And the, the interesting part was several colleagues of mine still could use that function in their Gmail. And then it crossed my mind like, oh yes, they are using their personal email. So there's something wrong. Like those with the work mail and the personal mail, it seems to be experiencing some kind of, you know, different things, different bugs apparently. And I also realized the, the among all my Gmail accounts, five to six I there were five accounts there are five accounts that I have and four don't have this uh, insert audio function only my very first gmail account has this function so it was a very strange thing and many many people had the same issue and my tweets on twitter went out and google for education responded because I tagged them I even um, text some educators on Twitter who, you know, say that they use Google Slides and or they're experts in Google Apps, at least. So they they came back to me, but not very helpful, I would say. Uh, well, it's, it's common, right, in corporate accounts especially. They appear helpful, but 
not really. And even those uh, who claim to be experts, they don't seem to be having that problem. They try to offer me advice that didn't work either. So I end up uh, looking for the forum, the, the perfect place to, you know, find other people with similar problems. And so I went into support group, the support forum for Google users, especially um, the Google community, the docs editors help if that's what they call. But I would like to call it the Google community forum. So I posted uh, a thread there and the title goes like this. Insert audio function is missing from my Google Slides. What to do now? So I briefly explained that I was still able to use it in the beginning of the year, but it suddenly went missing. I have five accounts and only one still works. So what's the issue? And I even mentioned that I use the Chrome web browser. So I, I tried all kinds of things, seriously. Twitter, Facebook groups, the Google community forum, you name it. And of course, my close friends and anybody that I can reach out in my network. So in the first 24 hours, it was quite dull because um, not many replied. And But slowly, slowly, um, I get responses on Twitter. Slowly, I start to see other people pouring in into the Google community forum. And just like me, many other music educators, many other educators or teachers of other subjects have the same issue because everybody is relying on Google Apps for education purpose, for teaching purposes, for training purposes. So can you imagine the the crazy that went? <laughs> so I, I basically kick up a storm. Yeah, I want Google to take notice. I want Google to uh, take action because this is not a joke. Okay, you promote your apps for educators, you better make sure that it works for them, right? I know the tool is free, but this shouldn't happen, okay? And it's not a new function, by the way. It's a function that has been around for quite a while, okay, for a couple of years at least. So I even share out the that thread, that Google Community Forum thread onto Twitter. I share it out to anyone who responded and I asked them to upvote, share their experience there. I even posted it on Facebook groups, whoever responded to me and they, all of these kind people, they, all these kind teachers who are in the same boat as, as me, they were so kind to, you know, upvote and to even send in their experience into the same thread. So it accumulated as much as um, 44 replies and 51 upvotes. So that's a lot. And on top of this thread that I posted, a few other people also posted the same thing. So there are more than 50 people who have the same issue. Yeah, so I waited, waited and waited. And over the next few days after I posted that, I thought that, you know... I wonder how long it was going to take for Google to solve this. But eventually, some of these um, volunteer Google experts on the forum replied and said that they are aware of the problem now. They're going to, um, they're asking, they're requesting the developers to fix the bug. They're trying to replicate what's going on. So some people who responded to the threats mentioned that uh, they noticed an update to the Google Workspace calendar. So apparently there was an update on 2nd of March. So that must have triggered something to the entire system. And over that period of time, aside from the insert audio function, even the insert video function went missing. Or I, I would say that people couldn't insert their personal videos into the slides. They could put the URL, the YouTube URL to the slides, but they can't upload the ones that are from their Google Drive. So that was the, the big, big issues in Google Slides during that week. So I waited and waited and waited and finally on the, like two days ago, that is like 16th of March, it came back. 16th, 15th of March, it came back. 
And I was so happy, I was so glad because I want to start planning and just so happened it's the exam week. So thank God I didn't have to plan too much lessons on Google Slides. And I didn't have to use those functions. I tried to you know, adjust my lesson just for those few days. And I was so glad I, I reached out back to the same people who responded to me on Facebook, on Twitter. Even people like Slides Mania. Um, I even reached out to her, I think. I'm, I'm not sure it's a her or he. <laughs> but Slice Mania was also very happy. And everyone, yay! It was a victory <laughs> in, in, in that sense. So it took, like, I think it took Google almost a week to solve this problem. And I'm so glad that it came back. And <laughs> we can all, all teachers plan our lessons on Google Slides again in peace. Well, what a ride. What a ride it was. Thank you for joining my adventures and I hope that you have learned something new. Feel free to connect with me on my social media handles, share the music, email me at sharethemusic at gmail.com or visit my website sharethemusic.org. I can't wait to hear from you and see you soon in the next episode.